Kumzilla has this little, I say, get together with a bunch of winemakers and trying to define that question about what's Kumzilla, and it's very diverse. So that's the first part where we're, we're, we're a continuity of diversity. And uh, the continuity is in the weather. Uh, we're the last one to warm up and, and the first one to cool down. But we're not cold by definition, we're just tempered. And so, in California, and especially in Napa Valley, we fight the excess of the weather, the sun, the drought, the heat. And what we have in Coombsville is the proximity to the bay that allows us to temp dampen this. And then we're east facing, so we never see the sun after 3 p.m., which allows in the wines to have a lot of fresh expression and never overexpose our fruit to harsh conditions. We didn't see significant effect. Here, we prep very well for a heat wave because we're gonna be in warmer condition, we know that. But we never get to that excess point where the vineyards are so exposed to the heat that we go into a, a damaging zone. Actually, everything from Pinot to Cabernet. So, if you know Ken Bernard's with Ancien, Wines. Uh, you have a very beautiful, from the Monk Vineyard, you have a very, very beautiful collection of Chardonnay and Pinots that ripen beautifully. They are around 3rd Avenue in a lower section that really gets the, the bay influence. Uh, all the way to Cabernet Sauvignon that grows on you know south facing the hillside that gets really dark, really rich, really powerful. So you can have a, a, that array of microclimates and micro exposition that will allow you to grow that range of varietals here. You can't really make a good dish if you have bad ingredients. And in winemaking, the less you have to work in the winery, the better the wine will be. It comes both down to that. And it means two things is the quality is in the grapes, when you pick it, when you decide when you farm it, so all along working with the farming company is very important. But once you take that picking decision, the fruit arrive in the winery, basically your potential is there. And all you do to this is try to bring it home. And any mistake along the way will degrade the quality. So bring your potential as high as possible. And the only way to do that is in the vineyard. You're not going to raise your potential in the winery. You're just going to capture it.